All right, hey guys, uh, here is a brief video of how to remove a uh, fuel tank off of a, in this case, a 2010 uh, <clears throat> To start with, uh, there is a bolt here that needs to be removed once your seat is off uh, so that the tank becomes loose. The way that this tank comes up is from uh, the rears and there are two latches up front. Um, after you've disconnected all the hoses and elect electrical uh, connections here, I'll show you. You will then just go ahead and pull the tank tank back and and up. Uh, so after you've loosened up this bolt, uh, there are a couple of uh, other hoses that need to be disconnected uh, before you are gonna be free to remove the tank. Uh, there are these two hoses. Uh, there are the two hoses that are attached to uh, these two, and I highly recommend, depending on the extent of your repair, that you label any hoses that you're disconnecting. Um, this hose is the drip hose that if there is any any um, ex ex excess fuel in the tank is gonna come out and drip down to the ground so you may have noticed if you've put in too much uh, fuel into your tank you've come home you parked your bike uh, that the fuel is dripping it's coming from this uh, excess hose there is another hose and uh, this hose goes to the evaporator unit over here, and I believe this is on US spec spikes only to uh, comply with uh, US emissions, and it recycles these back into the uh, into the throttle body, the exhaust fumes into the throttle body. Um, you have there's an electrical wire that's that's down here. Uh, this electrical wire has a little latch on it over here that if you're removing it for the very first time, it's sitting like this. You're gonna have to push it forward and then bring it up in order to remove it and then uh, the connector is on the other side you don't have to worry about that that will make the electrical wire come loose and then uh, there are two hoses here here is this one and there is one just like that on the other side and there are two latches here one here and one on the other side uh, the hose goes underneath that like so so you have to pull it out so you have enough uh, freedom of movement in here to get the hoses disconnected. Uh, there are two additional, uh, once they are disconnected from the from those latches, these, there are, these two hoses are attached down here uh, like so, and I tried pulling them down by hand, I wasn't able to do, this, do so. So you can just uh, use your pliers and, let me see if I can get a video of that without this shaking too much. And once you have those pliers up there and you don't see very well, you just push down on that, uh, like so. Be careful if it doesn't, if it doesn't come off smoothly, don't force it. And that should that should do it. Um, I'm gonna go and take my time and do it right, but you will want to put um, uh, some paper napkins or, or, or your mechanic towels down here because you're gonna have excess uh, fuel come out uh, from the tank. Make sure that you empty the tank first before you, um, you remove it. You should have very little to no fuel left in there. Anything that is left in there is gonna come out here, so you don't wanna deal with uh, too much excess. Uh, gasoline. I hope this helps if I come up with uh, any other tricks uh, on this removal, but I don't think there are any. I will uh, post those in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching.